Hello, people of all saints. Um, you welcome me here back in 2005 when I arrived with my small and young family from Kettering to do the church youth work. And um, fast forward to 2008, uh, during a time of prayer, I felt that God put something on my heart. And, uh, and that was simply to not just work with young people within the church as we had been doing as a church historically and we're currently doing, but to go beyond the church walls and work with young people in our community. Not a groundbreaking idea, not any, you know, just something very simple, but, um, but it was a big deal to the church because the church had had a lot of issues with young people at the time and had been quite hurt by them. It caused a lot of damage. Um, anyway, I took the idea to Patrick, who was the rector at the time, and he listened. And he invited me to go to PCC with the idea to, to kind of unpack it and discuss it further. And at the time I was just saying, could me and Sarah Anderton, one of our church family, just go out to the streets once a week to, uh, to get to know the young people who were in our community and were, and were causing quite a lot of problems, but were very bored. So they agreed, which was fantastic. And over the next year, 18 months, I developed that piece of work and at, and at the same time, uh, a new community youth worker role was created and advertised and I applied and I was successful in getting that job. And the work went on to become known as Enrich and, um, and that's been running for the last 10 years. Uh, let's just have a little look at some of the things that we've done um, so that we can celebrate them and thank God for them. And the work evolved over the years as we got to know the young people's families and other people connected with them. And then came SALT. You know, after our last Malawi trip, we invited the young people who had gone on that trip who weren't connected to the church to come and feed back to an evening service and to invite their family as well. And they all did. And we took over that service and, and one of the parents said afterwards, you know, if church was like this, I'd come. So we had some discussions and, uh, and out of that, Salt was born. Uh, four o'clock, once a month, short and sweet, and always with food. Uh, and it's been great. And a home group has come out of that called Pepper, Joe's idea, not mine. Um, and then we've had more baptisms as well come from that. And of course, out of Salt came the Boxing Day events that were for people who are on their own at Christmas and the community meals. And, um, and I said, as I said, all this is only possible because of the support of All Saints right from the start, prayerfully, financially, through volunteering and through general encouragement. You know, I've managed to, um, to receive grants that kind of uh, cover the costs of Enrich, but my salary has been paid for by All Saints and for that I'm very grateful. But I do just want to say a special word for everyone who's volunteered over the years. These are people who are not paid um, to do the work, people who have got jobs, people who have got families, and they, they give up their time to bless the people in this community. And that's a big sacrifice, and they've been a huge blessing to me, so I thank you to all of you. Um, and it's been a great journey. You know, the things that make journeys great are that they are always changing, they're always moving. If it was the same all the time, it'd be boring. And, uh, and COVID has changed everything. The youth work had to stop in the first lockdown, SALT went online, and it's been tricky getting things back up and running again with the various lockdowns and the restrictions in between them. And so the decision's been made uh, to take stock, and this means stopping the work of Enrich and bringing my role here to an end. But hopefully it's a pause um, rather than a stop. So please do pray for all saints as they think about uh, what's next and when is next and, and maybe who is next. Um, and be expectant and be excited. God will do something great, I'm sure. And be involved in some way, if you can. And please pray for me and the family, uh, especially as I try to figure out what's next uh, and find work. And hopefully that'll happen sooner rather than later. 
and please do pray for Jo, who's on maternity leave until October, uh, and, uh, and pray for her and her lovely family, Gez, Hosea, and uh, baby Joy. So thanks again for catching hold of the dream all those years ago and being so faithful over the years. And can I encourage you to just continue supporting whatever happens next in this community in whatever way you can. Be blessed and be a blessing and hopefully I'll see you soon.